Hey, good morning everyone, TrackMan44 here. You know, I tell you all the time, or quite a number of times, sometimes I forget about even making a video whenever I'm doing something until I'm at least partially started, sometimes halfway done or whatever. Today's no exception. The bell saw, that um, A14 fo uh, bell saw sawmill, is getting ready to go down the highway, and i got to prepare it to, uh, to, to be loaded onto the fellow's trailer whenever he gets here. So I went ahead and pulled the blade off, you know, because you can't transport it with the blade on. Pulled the pipe take off shaft, a couple other parts and pieces, you know, and got them all set inside the shed for whenever he gets here. But now, at least I'm going to go ahead and start the video and um, try to get it picked up and mounted on either an axle or a little small flatbed trailer. Uh, this could be one of those, here, hold my beer moments, you know, you never can tell when it comes to some of the sketchy stuff that we do. But we're going to go ahead and pick that thing up and somehow another get a trailer underneath it and bind it to it so we can uh, get that thing loaded. So, uh Come along with us, it could be, turn out to be just a little bit interesting. Well, the little trailer I chose to slip underneath there is this little flat bed with the raised fender wells, simply because it's got a nice flat surface to slide on. Somewhere close to balance point. It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. That's what the plan is. We're going to see if it's going to work. Time will tell. we were able to get it up high enough to get the trailer underneath. I didn't realize it, but the SD card filled up. I just quit, put a new SD card in, and just turned the camera back on. It went pretty simple and pretty easy, but now i got to go back to business of binding it down, and then we're going to go ahead and unhook the uh, 3301 off of that end and put the little Kubota 3030 on the front, and we're going to jack this thing around and get it out on the roadway. Well, welcome to another episode of Why We Can't Have Neighbors. This is a sawmill. What you don't see is the 48 inch saw blade that had been attached to this until just recently. This mill is leaving the premises. Yay! And this is a preloading for when the gentleman who is who has purchased it and taking it to its new home will put it on his trailer. So I am filming because Mastermind over here is going to be loading. I'm not exactly sure having a tractor at both ends. Hey, can I get you to come put the pin in for me? Yep. Okay, I just helped him put a pin in it. So now there is a tractor on both ends. Why there is a tractor on both ends? I haven't the foggiest. All right, maybe he's disconnecting one of them. Whenever he does things this, like this, I always wonder, well, how do normal people do this? Not that he's abnormal, but kind of is. I would try to explain what he's doing, but not really happen the foggiest. I'll be right back. I can go get two straps to strap this down so it don't slide. Okay, I'll just fix me a cup of tea here. Okay. So he's going to strap this down onto this little trailer. And the trailer will become an axle. I don't know what that means. But he's using the little trailer to move it to onto a bigger trailer when the guy arrives with the bigger trailer to put this on it. And it's being strapped down because... He doesn't want it to fall off. Yeah, don't want it to slip. Slipping. Slip slips. and get all crooked or maybe slide off the back end. If no. Up no slip sliding away. Nope. Where do you have to move this to? Well, the fella can't get the trailer in back here where it's so tight. Okay. So we're going to put it up on top of the hill. And when he comes in, he'll end up on the road. And then I'll be able to back up on his trailer. Or back it up to his trailer and then take this little trailer out from under it and then push it the rest of the way on with one of the tractors. Make sense? It does. 
Whatever you say. It looks good on paper. So you'll anchor this onto the trailer kind of, and then you'll just pull the other thing out from underneath it? I'll back it. On. Where this goes onto his trailer. Okay. We'll disconnect this trailer. All right. Up, pull this out. I, okay, on. okay, back up and do what? To lift it up? Yes. We'll All right. This okay. On his oh, trailer. okay, with a sky hook, what? How One you? One of the tractors. We'll pick it up in the air and get this trailer out from underneath it. And then push it the rest of the way on his trailer with the tractor. You have a tractor that'll reach that high? Uh, yeah. It'll be tough, but we'll get it. You may have to let the air out of the tires. <laughs> How did you get this back here? Exactly the same way. Oh my gosh. You don't need to know everything. Thank goodness. So now what, what have you got left to do? You've got this anchor now, so... We have to jack it around and get it out of this tight spot and get it all the way up on the hill up over there and then unhook from it and, let, and wait. Does that make sense? Yeah, the wee part doesn't make sense, but the rest of it is okay with. Okay. <laughs> right. This is finagling this tractor. This thing. In tight quarters. At least there's no traffic. needs to go back up that path. I don't know if that was the exciting part or the boring part. They're kind of both alike. All right, we are beginning part two of why we can't have neighbors. I'm generally not back in this part of the property, mainly because I start asking how all this stuff got back here. And where does it need to go? And why is it still here? going to back this up around
part three of why we can't have neighbors. Okay. Then he goes back the other way. Because this back end has got to go on the trailer first. You can't leave this out in the middle of the road. That trash that you see over there, that's an Oliver. See there, no muss, no fuss. Now, do you have any particular questions? How did you get that knot on your head? <laughs> okay, Oliver 77, early 50s. Um, where did we get it? When when did we purchase this? I that home the day your cousin got married to Linda. Okay, how, how do we know, remember this? because I almost missed the wedding because I was coming home from way up north in Illinois on a job and I had to stop and load onto the trailer on the way home. Was I unhappy with you? No, you were happy. I was happy because it's an Oliver, but yeah, I wasn't... You were really happy. You were ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a le wee bit worried about you not making it to the wedding? No, no, no. I got here to get there. <laughs> Right. I think he just celebrated like his 30th anniversary. Well, that's how long he's been here. Why are you putting a chunk of wood under it? So I can unhook the tractor. Oh, oh, I thought you were like chalking the wheels. Oh, no. Mm. I chalk the wheels. Okay. All right, I think that's really the most exciting thing you're gonna to see today. Sorry. Well guys, as you can tell, we're ready for the old boy to come over from Illinois and um, transfer to his bigger trailer. And you know what, this Tractor Man 44, and we're out of here, guys. That's a pretty impressive trailer. Well, fellas, there goes the bell saw. A14, heading down the highway. All right, I got to show you these fancy spokes. I just now noticed that. Okay, how did this trailer rate those wheels? And what are they from? I have no idea. I think it's a Chevrolet hub. So those will be uh, spoked wheel covers from the from the 70s, probably. Okay, is there one on the other side, too? No, unfortunately, yeah, there's not one on the other side. Oh, I would. that just won't do. You have to have matching wheel hubs. Well, you know, a good wife would uh, search the internet and find me one. I'm not that good. Bye-bye, Sawmill. <laughs>